Okay, I'd like to demonstrate the difference between a centered and non-centered moving average. So I've used Excel um, and the sign function from the yeah, trigonometry days to generate um, a trend and then to that trend I've added um, an irregular component and this is simulated using Excel's random number generator. So let me just have a look at that data. So 2D line and you can see the blue sign you saw it nice and smooth and then the, the data um, with deviations from that blue line. Okay, so um, our theory would say we want a, a seven point or well, a moving average with an odd number of observations and I'm going to choose a seven point average. So I'm averaging those first seven cells and then copying that down. Excuse me. Um, so that the last one pulls in um, the final observation in that last cell. An alternative to that would be a seven point non centered moving average. So if I type that average of looking only backwards, those seven values, and that can go right to the end. So the advantage might be that we don't have this end effect here. Um, so that's one compelling reason to do it, but what we'll see in a moment is that there are actually some really bad um, outcomes. So let's look at the time series graph. We can see that um, so the, the seven point centered moving average is this gray line. And we notice it's a bit low, um, and that's because of the, the fact that it's a centered moving average and we could um, reduce how much it, it sits below by, by making it maybe a five or three point moving average. Um, but the key here is that it's getting the turning points right. So it's turning at the same time as the sinusoid. So it's turning at the same time. Whereas the non-centered moving average in yellow, we can see is out of phase with the, um, the series and the turning points are too late. Okay, so this, this gap between here and here um, is the three, three time observations. And because we haven't centered the moving average, then it's missing the turning points. That's a bad thing. So, um, sort of, this is evidence towards why we would prefer a centered moving average.